Okay, let's look at the LED walls uh, rendered with Arnold and the 3 Studio Max. <coughs> so I went ahead and built a floor, a wall, a couple of assets, and it's already rendering. We have our floor texture, we don't need that. Our material, we don't need that. We have our wall material here. Uh, but we need uh, to add a light here because we um, uh, we want to generate a mesh light and we also want to use the uh, emission uh, component on the material. We want to separate those two out um, uh, so it becomes flexible and we reduce the excessive noise calculations. So uh, for this uh, light we assign the, um, the plane that's now working. Um, we could also add in uh, the uh, the map. Uh, I have a bitmap here, or a cell bitmap. Um, pipe that over there. So you can see it gets colored from this bitmap here. Um, so far so good. Um, and we also need uh, an actual image on the um, uh, on the wall here. As you can see here, we start to get some some noise here, um, and there's actually also a lot of noise on the the actual screen here. So it would take a long time to render this. Uh, all these little things here take a long time to render, and we can can optimize that. <coughs> So, um, so which one to pick first? Well, we could uh, take the um, the map side of things first. So I'm going to disable the lamp here. Uh, so the only thing we actually need uh, is for this plane to light up. Nothing else, not sending out anything, because that's what the mesh light I is doing. How can we do that? Well, we can take a, um, a ray switcher here pipe the bitmap into the ray switcher that will automatically just forward everything uh, all the pixels here uh, to the camera and disable all the GI calculation <coughs> so we can pop in a grading node here um, saps tweak levels uh, and we can then close it down 1.5 0 0.1 we can basically uh, do whatever we want with the, this panel here now. So that was one side of it. Uh, we need the other side, which is, um, if you look here, uh, let's see here, I'm going to disable this one, I'll turn on the light. So you see here, there's a lot of noise up on this one. The light is going, is reflected back on this panel here, and it's it's noisy, um, so we want to, to trim that out because we on, we're only interested in, in the light down here and whatever this screen sends out because it's already sending out uh, cell colors. So we want to blend in a lot of other things like noise, extra calculations. Um, so um, so we need to go to our plane here um, and add a um, Lanon properties and we're going to create a trace set called wall. Now this wall here is listening to the trace set called wall. And I have a trace set uh, node up here. We're going to call that wall. I'm going to take this one off, pipe that in there, and um, pop that up there. So that means if I include this one, uh, the wall should uh, turn completely black. And it does. So, um, all there is for us to do now is wire the, the actual map up here. Let's see here. Like this. I think that's uh, pretty much it. Um, uh, it's a healthy occupation to nurse the um, the samples down here, um, because depending on what kind of geometry you have, uh, these shadows uh, will clean out uh, 
with fewer camera samples, uh, the higher this number goes. So uh, three seems to be uh, a decent value. And as you can see here, um, we now have flexibility. Um, the map is still on. I can pump in as much light as I want. And um, I can use this tweak note here uh, as a separate uh, feed. So, um, so you basically have full uh, flexibility and we close down excess excessive rays. Um, so that's it. Uh, have a nice one.